hello guys welcome to video number three inside of our introduction to game development using pygame so uh, in this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and learn how to add an image into our game uh, our game screen so right now our game screen is just blank so we want to go ahead and learn how to add an image into it so the first thing we need to go ahead and do actually decide which image we want to add into our pygame uh, object so in this case i want to add a game for the player right now you can see that when i showed the demo the player was just this air, air spacecraft that was shooting uh, uh, bullets around and killing the alien crafts so so want to go ahead and download an image similar to that so i'm just going to go into a uh, flat flaticon and then simply search for an alien craft so you can search for an alien craft uh, uh, like this you can use this one right here you can use this one you can use this one you can use this one you can just find any image that works for you best okay so you can just go ahead and search for uh, images and use whatever you want to work with but we have to make sure that the image is a, a 64 pixel image okay so we have to go ahead here and then they should make sure that it's a 64 uh, image 64 pixel uh, image which is right here and then from there you can download Download that image okay so we can uh, select different variations of that uh, of that uh, alien craft okay so uh, in uh, sorry of your of your spaceship which you're going to be using to destroy like the alien crafts okay so I already have all that already uh, downloaded so you can also go to my uh, github page and you can find all those images right here so what I'm going to go ahead and do right now is simply go ahead and simply load it up into my game so I'm going to go ahead and load it up into my game and then we'll use it from there so i want to this is going to be my space uh my alien my spacecraft right so i'm just going to go in here and simply paste it inside of my assets folder and then just paste it uh right here so paste it so now you can see i have it uh right here so space spaceship great so i want to go ahead and simply add it into our game because right now if you just run our game it's just gonna be a black screen right so i want to go ahead and actually add it to it so to do that is really very very simple uh, what i want to go ahead and do the first thing is i have to first load in the either uh, the image first of all load the image and then display it using passing the x and the y axis to tell pygame where to uh, position that uh, that image so i'm going to say load uh, space uh, spaceship uh, image so to do that actually very simple what you have to do is uh, you have to say simply say player I'm going to call this is gonna be our player right so player uh, underscore uh, image so player image is going to be equal to the following so the player image is going to be by game dot load dot sorry dot image uh, image dot load and then you're going to pass in the path to that image I'm going to say dot first slash assets uh, which are referring to this folder right here assets and it's called spaceship dot png so uh, space uh, sorry uh, assets for slash uh, space uh, ship dot uh, png just like that so that's going to load our, our image now we have to now tell where where to display the image so to do that i'm going to have simply have, have, have a function and we call this function player and it's going to simply take a uh, player this basically player and what it's going to do is going to say you're going to say bridge screen uh, blitz screen dot bleed right to so bleed and then you pass in what you want to bleed onto the screen so i want to go ahead and pass the image the image and then you have to pass in now a tuple which is the second argument now the tuple is the the location the x and the y axis on which to put that the player on uh, on which to point the a they put to, to to put the uh the player in okay so to explain this to you just a bit i'm just going to bring this diagram right there so uh if you are coming from school we have the x and the y uh, plots right uh, coordinate system right uh, the grid uh, the x and the y coordinate system um, basically we have the x and the y starting from zero zero at the at the center and then goes uh, x increases as you go to the right and then uh, x decreases as we go to the left and then y increases as we go to the right and then y decreases as we go to the bottom right so in game development and in computer screens the way it works is a bit different so a uh, computer screen will start at the very top so imagine this was my screen right so we start at the very top up here so imagine this was my screen we start at the very top up here so this is zero zero point zero zero so as we go to the right the x increases as we go downwards to the bottom the y increases so that's basically how it works uh on computers and now you come to computer screens and it's the same concept in by game and in game development so it starts at zero zero and increase as we go uh right uh, for the x and then decrease increase as we go y, uh, bottom for the y so this is basically our screen we have 900 which is the x and then 600 the width. so i want the image to be somewhere around here so this is going to be uh, let's say around uh 450 right if you divide this by 2 450 and then you also the y will be around like uh, let's say it's around 500 480 or something like that but you also have to factor in the size of the image if you want to position this right at the center okay so this if this is a 64 image you can just say uh means that half of it is uh, 32 another half of it is 32 so you can do the math and then decide uh, what values to minus to make sure that you position your image uh, right at the center so let me just go ahead and let's go ahead and specify this value so what i'm going to go ahead and do i'm going to simply go here and say player 
uh, x and a player x you're going to just leave that to be for uh, for uh, for one zero okay and then you're going to say player uh, player uh, y and the player y is going to be for uh, 480 so 480 so if I go back here so this is going to be uh, 410 for 410 and then it's gonna be 480 around 500 right so yeah that's basically how we are positioning our image so once we have the thing quite in here the player uh, the player the player X and then also the player y uh y just like that so that's going to position our image basing uh basing the x and the y coordinates okay so now how do we display our image uh inside of our game so display the image you want the image display constantly every time every time you go in the loop you want the image display and i told you earlier on that if you want them to display continuously inside of your game you have to keep it under the world loop loop okay or the uh, the game loop is like you can call it so let's put here and then say player uh image uh, image display so display just like that so now i'm going to go ahead and keep it just when you say player and then just call it which and player is this function right here and this goes ahead and simply blitz the image which is this image that we loaded onto our screen and passing the x and the y coordinates to pass in the image and, and which i explained to you using this diagram right here okay so great so once we have this uh you can just go ahead and simply run the, run the code so you can see now our, our player is displayed right here at the bottom so that's the position of our player so that's all i wanted us to cover in this tutorial how to display an image uh, an image in our in our, of our in our game so yeah that's basically it and to understand how all this works uh, please use this diagram refer the diagram is a bit confusing if you're starting out just know that in computers zero zero starts from here and x increase as we go this way and y increase as we go this way and this is where we start from at the top left of the screen that's how we start counting okay so at the top left of the screen it's zero zero going right the x increases going down the y increases that's basically how the coordinate system of the uh, screen works in the uh, computer games yeah so that's basically it and i have all the code here with some doc documentation to explain to you everything that you have done so far so in the next tour we're going to look at how to begin to move our player because right now if i run the game again our player is just stationary it it, it isn't moving right so uh, next we're going to learn how to move this player around and the player having different actions so yeah uh, if you guys enjoyed it so so far uh, please make sure that you like the video share this content with anyone who you think might find it helpful and subscribe to the youtube channel for more videos like this uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in next one. Keep safe. Them of the uh, screen works in uh, computer games. Yeah, so that's basically it. And I have all the code here with some doc documentation to explain to you everything that you have done so far. So in the next tour, we're going to look at how to begin to move our player. Because right now, if I run the game again, our player is just stationary. It, it, it isn't moving, right? So in the next tour, we're going to learn how to move this player around and the player having different actions. So yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed it so, so far, uh, please make sure that you like the video, share this content with anyone who you think might find it helpful, and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos like this. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in next one. Keep safe.